Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to this motivation video. So I'm going to be talking about how I get motivation and the, the, the first and foremost thing, the one thing I really want to talk about is over the last 18 months I have put in my head a primal fear of if my business fails, I have failed, right? And it's a bit of a dangerous one, that, because if the business did fail, then I would go right downhill in terms of my motivation, my negativity, all that sort of stuff. But on the flip side, why I've done that, why I've put that primal fear inside myself over months and months and months of running the business is because it, on a day-to-day -day basis, it makes me strive for more. It makes me push myself because I think I am not letting this business fail. I am going to push myself for more. I'm going to go out there and get stock. I'm going to go to the car boot, go sourcing on eBay or whatever, get the stock, list it, list plenty every day and get it on and get things moving. Um, and that's sort of like my, that, that primal fear is part of my motivation essentially. And I often sort of, uh, sort of do a little bit of a metaphor in terms of, um, a woman who's got a newborn baby, her primal fear is if anything happened to that baby and I am the same with the business. Obviously, maybe the, the, the newborn baby and the, and the mother would have maybe a stronger connection, but um, but in a meta metaphorical way, it sort of works and that's how I sort of look at, um, look at my business and I really... Um, I, I, let, I let that fear motivate me. I let the fear of losing it motivate me to, to never lose it and to succeed. So that is the biggest one and that's something that I've had for, for months and months on end and it is a big motivator for me and it makes me say, no, I'm, I'm going to go out there and, and I'm going to make this uh, business or this, ba or this baby into a toddler and then a teenager and then an adult that can almost survive on its own. So... That is sort of the uh, the motivation for me, that fear. Aside from that, like your daily things, you know, daily motivation, um, exercise is a big one. Exercise is a huge, huge one for me. Um, I, I love going for walks and doing little bits and bobs of exercise here, there and everywhere. And yeah, it, it really helps your mental well-being. Obviously, if you're in a bit of a rut in the day, maybe you've just come to a bit of a halt um, and you, you need to sort of basically keep going and you, maybe you need to refocus your mind on that particular day. It's great just to get outside in the fresh air, go for a walk, go for a run, do a little bit of, I don't know, weightlifting or whatever if you've got weights around or go to the gym or something. Um, and it really is a big one for me, that, the, the exercise. I would say also another big one that I'm slowly finding out is um, changing niches or changing up what you sell. And this will progress over time. And I think that if you take that step of changing up what you sell a little bit, you will find that when you're doing the research for these new products and when you are outsourcing, looking for these new products, you will have newfound excitement newfound motivation for reselling and I can say that quite um, openly because I've I've changed niches a few times now in a fairly big way and that's what's happened every time I've been more excited about reselling I've been I've had newfound passion for it and it, it obviously expands your repertoire of stuff you're looking out for so that's a win-win-win really so yeah that is a, another big one I would say it's getting hard now to be fair, but I'd, I'd say just changing up your day in terms of your routine. Sometimes, you know, I, I mean, like I have, a, I am a very routine based person. I like routine, um, but sometimes I like to just change it up a bit. Like I'll do my parcels at maybe nine till 11 o'clock and then I'll go to the post office at half 11, then go to the charity shop, then come back, have lunch. Then I'll be sorting in the afternoon, then I'll do my photos at four o'clock, then I'll have my tea after, you know, around five or five, something like that. Then I'll have, uh, then I will do my listing, 
Um, then I may have a shower, then I may do some more listing. And that is my day. I can tell you my day pretty much completely every day. Um, and that can get demotivating. And sometimes you need to change things up a little bit. So that one as well, don't just fall into the routine. Remember that you are self-employed and a part of being self-employed is that you have the ability to not be in a routine. So sometimes changing up a routine or just doing things differently within the day, maybe even just taking a short break out of the day for a couple of hours and maybe making up the hours at night or making them up on another day or something. Um, I mean, for me, I don't so much worry for that because I've, I work seven days, but I do like... I do weird hours every day, like it's, I probably work like eight, seven, eight hours on my business every day, something like, something around that, but it's like I work in bed and it doesn't feel like bed or I work in the morning and, you know, I'm not too worried about that, I'm not too fussed about that or whatever, or, or I'll have a bit of a break mid-afternoon and have a cup of tea and watch a few YouTube videos or something, and it's very weird, um, but that's how I like it, I'd rather work like that than nine to five, five days a week, you know, in those confined com confined sort of time slots. I, I like the freedom it gives me, uh, but also, in a way, I am stuck in a routine, even though I am sort of, my hours are very flexible, I'm still um, putting myself into a routine, uh, and maybe it is good to, to break out of that for once in a while. But anyway, that's that one. Um, Whew. I mean, taking a a, a, a a maybe longer break, like a holiday, you know, for seven days or whatever, 14 days, you know, a nice long holiday um, can also be a motivator. For me, I'm not too convinced it would be. Maybe in 20 or 30 years when I'm slowing down and I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not too... I'm not too fussed about, like, I'm not as, as passionate as I am now about the business. I mean, not that I wouldn't be passionate about the business then, but I'm meaning that I'm stuck. That's it. Right, so in, like, 20 or 30 years, I might start to downsize the business rather than scale it up. So then I might be thinking, you know what, I, I, I really want a holiday. You know, I'm, 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 I'm ready to take holidays now. Whereas now, I'm young, I'm passionate, I'm, I'm upscaling the business, and... Um, therefore, when I take a holiday, I feel crap for it because I'm thinking I've got to get back to work. I've got 100 parcels to wrap or whatever. Even if I hid my listings, I'd be like, well, I've got to get back to it now. I've got to get into it again. And that's my biggest hurdle, basically. Um, but certainly when I'm older, I, I, I will probably be ready to take regular holidays, to be fair. Um... But yeah, at the moment, I'm so passionate about it that I just don't feel like I need a, a lengthy holiday. Um, so, but, you know, many other people will need a lengthy holiday, so that is a definite motivation uh, motivation technique or motivation theory. Um, what else? I mean, I've probably covered the main ones, I think. Um, I mean, maybe wearing what you want is, is, is somewhat of a motivation technique. I mean... Especially if you're my age, because I was so used to being in school and wearing uniforms. It's not so much of a motivation anymore, because in college and uni, I did I wore what I want. But, um, but I mean, someone coming out of work, like, nine to five job, five days a week, wearing a suit every day, that might, even that little thing might be a, a quite a big motivator for them for the, for the short term. You know, not wearing, not having to wear a suit. I mean, I choose to wear a shirt anyway, just because I feel like if I'm working, I feel like that that is something I want to wear when I'm working to symbolise I'm working. Um, but yeah, that could, that could be a short a shorter term motivation uh, motivation uh, sort of technique for some people, maybe coming out of work or maybe doing this after they've been in school for five years or wearing a uniform. Um, but again, that's a very very small one. Uh, maybe not insignificant, but very small at least. Um, I don't know what else. I mean, YouTube is a huge motivator for me. Just doing these videos and, you know, getting a bit of time out of the day just to do the, the videos and just have a chat and reading all the comments and stuff. And I do spend quite a lot of time uh, answering comments and that's that eats up a lot of time. But I do love answering comments and, and reading questions and stuff. 
Um, and today's Thursday, I'm doing Thursday Talks Live, and I absolutely love that. Um, but there's just so many, I could wheel off tons, you know, if I had the time, I'm just spitballing on this video, I don't really know what I'm saying, I'm just sort of, I just press record and that was it, but, uh, but if I had the time to write all these different things down, I could probably do a much more in-depth video, but, yeah, I mean, I think I've covered most of the bases there, there's probably some more, um, if there is any more that I've not thought of or not talked about, feel, feel free to leave them in the comments and we can have a chat about it. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you did like it, and please do go over down below and uh, check out my Facebook page. So, I will see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.